Why evolution does not work, random chance. In naturalistic evolution, random chance is presented as non-purposeful, random, variations arising by mutations of different kinds. Mutations can be gene mutations, or chromosome mutations, spontaneous mutations, error-prone replication bypass mutations, DNA repair errors, induced mutations, acquired mutations, missense mutations, point mutations, deletions, insertions, base substitutions, non-synonymous and synonymous mutations. What is common to all of these is that they are believed, by evolution believers, to be random, not purposeful. They have to be random in order to avoid intelligent design. Does random chance have the ability, to provide the raw material needed for natural selection? To create the entire biosphere? The answer is no. There are a variety of ways in which random chance has been falsified as a sufficient cause, with or without natural selection, for naturalistic evolution, see below. 1. Some bacteria, and possibly other creatures, have intelligent designed machinery and processes that enable them to create purposeful, intentional, targeted mutations in response to environmental stress. Such mutations are purposefully directed and not random. This falsifies a core tenet of naturalistic evolution. 2. The universe has probabilistic material resources for only 10 to the power of 120 chemical trials. That is not enough for random chance, by itself in neutral evolution, or with natural selection in selective evolution, to create the thousands of unique orphan genes needed for the defining characteristics of each of the higher taxa, order, class, phylum, kingdom. The universe, in its entire history, does not have the resources to create more than two to three unique proteins, for high specificity proteins, or more than 12 unique proteins, for low specificity proteins. In contrast, we have more than 100,000 unique protein families in the biosphere. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution. 3. Scientific literature indicates that humans have more than 600 orphan genes, with no detectable homologs in other species. The universe has the material probability resources to generate only 3 genes for high specificity proteins, or 12 genes for low specificity proteins in its entire 14 billion year history. So, human orphan genes falsify naturalistic human evolution. 4. Scientific literature indicates that humans have 634 orphan genes, with no detectable homologs in chimps. As mentioned above, the universe has the material probability resources to generate only 3 genes for high specificity proteins, or 12 genes for low specificity proteins in its entire 14 billion year history. So, human orphan genes falsify naturalistic human evolution from an alleged chimp human ancestor. 5. Harmful mutations are 1,000, to 1 million, times more numerous than allegedly beneficial mutations. Only 5 to 10 percent of expressed mutations are neutral, 90 to 95 percent of expressed mutations are harmful. Allegedly beneficial mutations are either zero, or below empirically detectable limits, for species more complex than bacteria to insects. The more complex a species, the lower the likelihood of beneficial mutations, due to higher interdependent and interlocking complexity in higher species. Most of the harmful mutations are invisible to natural selection. As a result, the harmful mutations collect in the genome and are carried down through the generations, for more complex species. This genetic load causes mutational degradation, and error catastrophe leading to extinction of the species over time. The fossil record confirms an average species lifetime of 1 million years for complex vertebrates such as mammals. So, in the absence of intelligent design bioinformation infusion, the trajectory of evolution is destructive, and not constructive, for higher species, with lower reproductive rates, that are more complex than bacteria to insects. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution. Conclusion. Based on the above, evolution that does happen, is destructive evolution, increasing genetic load, for higher species, or stasis, for bacteria up to insects with high reproductive rates and large populations. Any non-destructive evolution that occurs, is completely minor, adaptation of species to an environment within the limits of a genus or family. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution, to create completely new phyla and new body plants. In our next video, on random chance, we will discuss additional evidence that confirms this conclusion above. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.